A Look Inside My Pet Bees Lab. Hello, I'm Leslie. Next to me here is my pet bees lab. I'd like to share my personal experience of how I created it and what it actually takes to manage one. In order to remove one of the frames within the box to make room for the others to be inspected easily, I will use a pair of frame holders, place them on the side of the box, and remove a frame to hang on it. There's a lot of propolis here, and I want to loosen it up a little bit so I can get the right frame out. According to the normal practice accepted by all tandem beekeeping network members, my hive is positioned so that it is most convenient to approach it on the side where its entrance is on my left. In this position, it is only natural to number the sequence of frames so that frame number one is the one closest to me and number eight is the most distant. I will remove frame number one first. It usually does not contain brood and it is least likely to have the queen bee on it, so it is the most appropriate one to stay outside while the rest of them are manipulated. After taking a look at both sides of the frame, I can hang it on the frame holder. This leaves an extra space inside the hive body that allows me to gently separate, lift, and evaluate the other seven frames more easily, more delicately, and therefore more safely for the bees. Activated by my voice, the recorder memorizes all the data I say aloud. For many beginners, including myself, one of the tricky skills to master is to identify eggs laid by the queen deep inside the comb cells. Originally, I had to rely on my magnifying glass, but I quickly learned to spot them with a reasonable level of confidence. During this season, I acquired some valuable knowledge and experience which made me realize that the majority of mistakes and failures in traditional beekeeping seem to stem from the lack of reliable information about a current status of a bee colony at any given time. Each beekeeper may remember that as a beehive is a manageable entity, the key to success is to learn the skills of controlling the colony not to only periodically state the condition of the colony. Only the owner who strives to apply the logic of bee colony development to decisions can efficiently control the processes that take place in the hive all year round. This intellectual approach makes working with bees an interactive process the and the resulting achievement encourages others to consider beekeeping in a less conservative manner. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful all the different colors. Balanced hive resources, bees help, and ultimately the very survival of these little hard-working creatures depend on how well the beekeeper performs as their manager. Once I finish with the last frame in a hive body, I shift all the preceding frames back into their place. This restores the space needed for the first frame. Then I move this first frame from the frame holder to its original position inside the box. The frame holder is not needed on this box anymore, so I remove both brackets. Next, I return the upper hive body to its position in the hive structure. From here, I simply repeat the full frame inspection procedure, beginning with the installation of the frame holders and finishing with their removal after this hive body scan is complete. Assembling the lady hive, populating it with a bee colony, and gathering a set of tools are the introductory steps toward learning to understand, control, and experiment with the processes that take place in a beehive.
A work in tandem can be explained as a routine inspection or scan of the hive, followed by the sharing of the data with an experienced colleague over email. This is where the beauty of tandem beekeeping becomes indelible. The system is so simple and efficient that despite any distance, it's as if both the keeper and the mentor lean over an open hive and see every single frame of the lab together. Any possible deviation from the frame's normal state and the two decide together what needs to be done to ensure the most favorable conditions for the colony's sustainable development. 